There are three times to go to the net in tennis. Can you name them? (laughs) I'll tell you. It's serve and volley when you get a short ball and when you get your opponent in trouble. And that last one's going to be the topic we discuss in this video. Now, first, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Now we see Kachmanovic playing Stan here, and you'll see Stanimal hits a great return, nice and high, deep down the middle. Love that return of serve. But right here, Stan does something by hitting down the line that gets him a little bit in trouble, and it's this situation right here. When you hit a down-the-line shot in singles, especially if you're way behind the baseline, which Stan is here, then you're not going to usually hurt your opponent, and often they can then hit it cross-court into the open court and get you in trouble. And that's exactly what happens here. You know, you get Stanimal is slightly on the same side of the court as the opponent, and that gives an angle that makes it hard for Warinka to get to. So when Kachmanovic hits this great shot, he immediately starts moving forward. And that's exactly what he should do. Look how all of a sudden Kachmanovic is at the net hitting a volley. How did that happen? Well, it's a really simple rule in tennis in general. When you hit a shot that gets your opponent in trouble, you should move forward. And you move forward to try to take time away from them and to volley it into the open court. And that's exactly what happens here. Now, I want to show you the technique he is using on this volley. Volleys generally are a momentum power source shot. You're not swinging on this shot. You're usually using momentum with your body going forward to supply the energy. I want you to notice where he contacts this ball. His right foot is on the service line. But have a look at where he ends up. Look how close he is to the net when he's done. So he moves up about 15 feet because he's like, you know, maybe five feet from the net right there. So he's moving forward 15 feet after he hits the shot. He is not stopping and volleying. And a lot of players, they feel like they have to stop when they volley. Well, then you lose all your momentum and then you're forced to swing. So one of the easiest ways to hit a great volley, and you can see his his racket barely moves because he has his body weight moving. That's the whole reason. One of the best ways to do that is to actually move through your volley. Don't stop and volley. And the last thing I want to show you in this situation, obviously Stan is way off the court. It would make no sense for Kachmanovic to hit the ball super deep. He wants to make this ball land short in the service box. Look where that first bounce is, but more importantly, look where the second bounce is. There's the second bounce. It's just past the service line. You see a lot of recreational players, their opponents, you know, way over here, let's say, and they're running this way, and then the volleyer hits super deep. And that actually makes it a shorter distance for the opponent. So when you pull your opponent off the court and you come forward, go for a short volley that's going to bounce twice. That'll make sure they don't run that ball down and you definitely win that point. Now, if you love learning new single strategies just like I do, then you got to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Over 50 pages of strategy after strategy to help you beat your toughest opponents. Each strategy comes with a QR code on that page. Just hold your phone or tablet up over the QR code and up pops a video of Will Hamilton from Fuzzy Yellow Balls teaching you exactly how to use that strategy. You can get the singles playbook just using my link. It's in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Look, there are three times to go to the net. Serve and volley when you get a short ball, and as we just saw in that video, when your opponent is in trouble. When you hit a strong shot to a corner, and you get your opponent scrambling, especially on that backhand where Stan's just reaching with that slice. That's when we saw Chekmanovich, he started coming forward because he knew it was okay to come into no man's land because Stan the man was not Stan the man at that moment. So the weak ball was gonna uh, occur and he wanted to come in to rob Stan of the time. Now, it wasn't just that that we learned in this video. 
we learned, yes, that when your opponent is in trouble, you want to go forward. But you also noticed how the volley was hit on the move. Don't think that you're supposed to stop when you volley. I've noticed that players who think they're supposed to stop and they say that their volley gets better because of that, it's because they didn't split step prior to that. If you split step as your opponent hits, then it's so nice and easy to move through the volley. Remember, the volley is a momentum shot. The power source in the volley is your momentum, not your arm you know, just swinging by itself. So we saw a very still and quiet racket as he hit that volley into the open court. And he hit the volley from the service line, but he kept moving through it. He kept his momentum going through that shot. And the last thing is when you volley and you have your opponent off to the side in singles and you're looking to hit into the open court, don't have a deep target. That is not what you want. You are looking to make the ball land short in the service box. If you can aim to the short target, not the deep target, it means that it is a, it is a farther distance for your opponent to run and you're gonna win more of those points. You copy this strategy in all of your singles matches and there's no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.